going to try this again because notifications keep popping up in my window and it's distracting me. Anyway, uh, so I did a full face of mostly new things. Um, the Essence uh, Volume Lash, Volume Stylish Lash Extensions. Anyway, no, this, this stuff, if you want longer lashes, this is fantastic. I love it. I paired it up with their... Uh, big lash. Uh, these mascaras are $3.99 and $4.99. Can't beat them. I love them. I'll, they get a lot of rave reviews. Stupid notifications. Anyway, um, let's see if I can turn this up. Okay. So, those two were a hit. I love those. I doubled, I paired them up. Um, I normally wear false lashes. Normally I would, but I really kind of wanted a not complicated face, but I think I made it complicated today. Anyway, so then the next thing I got was the Mon Milani Conceal and Perfect. I heard really good things about it. The foundation, their foundation breaks me out. I don't know about this. I normally don't break out with concealers, but it's a little bit... What the heck? <sighs> um, you know what? I don't know what... Okay, so staying on focus with the concealer I'm gonna work with it some more because most concealers do what it's doing to me anyway so I'm not really all that surprised so I'm gonna keep and then I set it with a little bit of this pink uh, all about matte silky uh, fixing like fixing powder so but it helps brighten my under eye and I did a light 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 dusting on top of it um, but I think I just like when I went in with my foundation, I think I just need to do my concealer last and then my foundation first and moving on to the foundation. I'm going to keep it and keep working with it. The foundation, I did the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. First impressions is a no. I'm going to keep working on it, but I also got this Hard Candy Hydrating Primer 2 3 in 1. It moisturizes, primes, and perfects. I hate them at the cone, but I'm finding it in everything. I hate it. So I thought maybe it was just me. So I got the, pr the primer filled. It's infused with coconut water also, which I'm, uh, I don't know how this is going to do because coconut anything usually breaks out my face like just a little bit. So I put that on. I don't know if it's the foundation I don't like or the primer or it's both. So based on first impressions, no, because... This did not, this wasn't as bad as the flush foundation, but it just really didn't, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. I just, don't, maybe it's just too illuminating. I don't know. I only put highlighter here and on my cheeks, but you see how it's just dewy everywhere else. I did set it, set it with the Mario, Mario Badescu setting spray because it looked like crap before. And this thing got rave reviews from people who loved it. It looked flawless. And this is really... It's got no skincare benefits. I think that may be a big part of the reason why I don't like it also. It's just got sunscreen in it. But it's supposed to be a light within from within. And let me tell you, it is dewy. But I just don't... I don't know if it's the color. Maybe it's this with the primer. i got to keep working on it. So I'm going to try it with a different primer tomorrow. If not, uh, I don't know. I'll give a further review later. But on first impressions, no. No on that. No on um, on the primer. God, I, I didn't realize it was going to... You don't think hydrating it's going to be that slicky dimethicone anyway. So I also got the Morphe setting spray. Um, I, I spray that. I double up my setting sprays because I like that dewy finish. But I want it locked in. And I can't be using hairspray every day. <laughs> <laughs> hairspray is a fantastic setting spray but do that only on special occasions so I did the I got the morphe setting spray because I've heard that's changed a lot of people's makeup game so we're gonna see but basically my first impressions anything the only thing that was a success was really like just I do like that powder and the mascaras other than that I'm like no but I'm gonna keep working with it like I did that flush that flush is still the weirdest foundation, but no, I just don't, sorry, I'm looking in the mirror. I just, it just looks so, it 
Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. And the part under my eyes that I don't like is not where I put concealer. So it's not the concealer. It's got to be where that foundation stuck. And it didn't blend out very well. So, but I also noticed that when I added more to certain areas, I used my fingers. This may be a foundation that works better with the fingers than it does with a sponge or a brush. Got here. Sorry. Like I said, I'm going to keep trying. Anyway, I just want to let you guys know what I've tried and what I like. Um, I'm going to take some other stuff back. I did find that Smashbox and I put a little tester. That new Smashbox is pretty much, you can do a tattoo cover up with that. It's so little and it goes a long way. So I do really want to try that too. And then I've heard the Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder is really nice. But then I've already got more powder than I need right now. I don't know why I'm going down with this. My shade of everything. Anyway, um, Oh, that's it. I'm going to finish getting ready for work because oh, I got an hour and a half. I did get up really early for this because I was kind of excited and then end up totally, utterly disappointed. Anyway, you guys have a fantastic Friday, I think it is. <laughs> Friday. And I will see you in the next video.